members are myself, Abhinash, my group members are Chetan, Mayur and Jai. Our project is under the guidance of Professor Mukta Bajikar. The aim of our project is development of charge discharge machine and temperature testing of energy storage devices. The objective of our projects are charging and discharging of supercapacitor, test of supercapacitor on different temperature levels and to achieve high power density and high electrical density. Next, what, next, what is supercapacitor? We will explain my check. Supercapacitor are energy storage devices and it has capabilities of high energy density, high power density, longer lifespan, maintenance free and the good performance. Supercapacitor also reaches the gap between conventional capacitor and battery. So supercapacitor play very important roles in UPS section, transmission lines and electric vehicles. Now methodology will be explained by Jairaj. Thank you Chetan. So here is the methodology of the argument project. As the design of supercapacitor with a specific configuration, then we are looking at uh, charging and discharging circuit which is the main motto of our project. Then we are looking at the testing and characterization that we, uh, that we do in perhaps after the synchronization of the charging and discharging. And then we are doing the finding of the specific capacitance through the experimental step which is the, our main motto after the charging and discharging of the, set, uh, of the kit and given the experiment. And after the output we will just synchronize them and then we get the output as we, as we want it. So in software methodology, now we will move towards the simulation. Uh, we have done the simulation on console software, which is the asymmetrical capacitor. On anode side, we use metal oxide and cathode side, we use activated carbon. And as a separator, we use polythene. This is the asymmetrical capacitor. This is the resultant graph from the simulation. This is for two cycles, charging cycle and recharging cycle. In this manner, the supercapacitor are charging and the same manner it will be charging. This is for two cycles. Second testing of supercapacitor, charging discharging for multiple cycles, it's not possible manually. So we will discuss to charge discharge the supercapacitor for multiple cycles. We use 2.2 volt supply to the supercapacitor through this kit. This is a 12 volt transformer which converts the 230 volt AC supply into 12 volt AC supply. Then this is a rectifier circuit which converts the AC into DC and this DC is given to the Arduino. Then the Arduino controls the operation of charging and discharging according to the input. Let's say use the charging time for 5 seconds, discharging time 3 seconds and use the number of cycle 2 cycles. Then the red LED indicates that the charging process is going on. After that the green light indicates the discharging. Then the one cycle is now completed and the second cycle is ongoing. Now the process is completed. This is a resultant graph from our reading and it is just calculated for one cycle. This is the capacitance graph that is calculated from reading for multiple cycles. The main objective of our project that uh, temperature testing for the multiple cycles and this, this is the capacitance value for the multiple cycle. For just 10 cycles, then 10 to 20 cycles, onward 100 cycles. As a result, we can say that the capacitance value is a greater for first 10 cycles and it is slightly decreases to, towards the 100 cycles. Thank you for your interest and attention.